dear students welcome back in the previous session we have discussed about a device called um, capacitor or condenser now in this session we are going to discuss about the other uh, electronic um, uh, devices that is um, thermionic valves so normally a valve is a device which transmits the flow in one direction only some of the examples in the human body are the valves of the heart and also the veins so in in these um, valves of the heart and the veins the blood which is pumped from the for example from atrium to ventricles or um, uh, guarded by bicuspid and tricuspid valves that means the flow from atrium to ventricle is taking place not from ventricle to atrium and also in the veins also veins also having valves and um, which allows only unidirectional flow of blood okay if you see in the electronics a thermionic valve is defined as a device allowing unidirectional flow of current so that means in electronics the thermionic valve is defined as a device allowing unidirectional flow of current there are various types of thermionic valves which are named according to the number of electrodes they contain so they are as follows one is the diode valve and triode valve now in this session we are going to discuss about the diode valve okay so this is the diode valve so this is the simplest form of thermionic valve and which contains two electrodes so here this one is one electrode and second electrode okay and then next one and also it contains a filament so it contains two electrodes one the filament and the plate here this one forms the filament and this is the the plate forms the uh, another electrode so this is the simplest form of thermionic uh, valve which contains two electrodes one is the filament and the plate and which is enclosed in an uh, evacuated glass tube so and this uh, two plates are enclosed in an evacuated glass tube okay so for a current to pass across the wall the filament must be heated so here the filament here is to be heated and a potential difference applied so that the plate is positive in relation to the filament and here the plate this should be positive this should be positive when compared to this filament so and the plate becomes the anode and the electrons which are um, emitting from the filament here it becomes the cathode here okay so when the filament is heated thermionic emission takes place so once the filament is heated what will happen so thermionic emission takes place and a cloud of electrons are released here so cloud of electrons are freed from this cathode okay if a potential difference is then applied so that the plate is positive in relation to the filament these free electrons are attracted towards the plate that is the plate is anode okay and current passes across the wall once these electrons are attracted here and the current passes through the wall okay so if no current no current is flow no current flows if the filament is cold as no electrons are liberated for example if the filament is cold that means no electrons are liberated 
and what will happen no flow of current will takes place okay or there are uh, if the potential difference is reversed so that the plate is negative which is uh, relative to the filament that means if it is uh, negative in related to this cathode then also there is no flow of electrons will takes place that means if it is negative already it is in negative stage so already if cathode this filament is heated the electrons are liberated so already it is negative the electrons will uh, repel back the electrons will repel back and there is no flow of electrons will takes place through this wall okay so uh, this is this proves that this proves that um the diode wall the diode wall is helping in the circuit in unidirectional flow of current okay and uh, such kind of walls are used for rectifying alternating currents so such walls are used for the rectifying alternating current okay the intensity of the current that flows across the wall depends upon the heating of the filament and also on the potential difference between the filament and the plate okay so this is the thing happens and then so uh, this is the schematic representation this is the actual um, a uh, diode which uh, we can see in the markets also here the cathode uh, the filament is present and which is surrounded by the anode and both are surrounded by an evacuated glass tube okay so the filament may be of directly or indirectly heated type so this may be directly or indirectly heated type and uh, the filament consists of loops of fine wire and which is made up of with uh, thoriated tungsten why because uh, the tungsten is used the tungsten tolerates the repeated heating and cooling and um, it is impregnated with thorium oxide or some similar substance this material allows thermionic Uh, emission to takes place even at uh, low temperatures also okay and um, if you see in this um, picture so you'll find some three uh, three pins on the base of the wall three pins on the base of the wall isn't it so in this the two are connected to the filament so these two pins are connected to the filament and um, one is uh, connected to the plate okay the pins fit into a suitable sockets and are evenly spaced so that the wall cannot be inserted into the circuit incorrectly okay and also the wall may be evacuated so evacuated means uh, that means no gas is present that means inside um, this glass tube no gas is present that means vacuum we are creating inside the wall and or you can use any inert gas at low temperatures so the pressure inside the glass bulb must be low so that there is minimal impedance to the electron movement if the gas is introduced for example if gas is introduced into the glass tube so um what will happen the gas will also be heated and um, this will not um, allow to take part in chemical changes when the valve is hot so for that reason we have to evacuate the gases or air which is present inside the glass tube 
and also uh, if you want to put any gas that should be a inert gas which is used at uh, low pressures so so this is about the construction as well as working of the a uh, diode wall okay here you can see the circuit here so here the cathode which is connected to the filament so this is the filament circuit and this one is the anode so this one so this is the anode circuit which is giving positive charge okay this is about the diode wall the main function of the diode wall is a rectification of alternating current to direct current this is the main function of the diode wall so in the next session we are going to discuss about the triode wall thank you